Hello everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Angelito Palencia. Ayan, I hope na meron kayong natututunan sa mga video na ina-upload ko at syempre sa video ito na papanoorin nyo. Ano nga bang matututunan sa video ito na papanoorin nyo? Okay, in this video, you will learn how to find the greatest common factor using prime factorization and continuous division. Hi, once again, I'm Angelito Panuncio, your math teacher. So, let's proceed now to greatest common factor or simply they called as GCF. By definition, the greatest common factor is the largest integer monomial or multinomial that a set of numbers or polynomial have in common. So this time, I will show you or I will teach you how to find greatest common factor using prime factorization and continuous division. So let's proceed to prime factorization. From the word prime, when we say prime, it has only two factors, one and itself. Okay, let me give you an example of prime numbers. Example of prime numbers are 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, and so on. So these are the example of a prime numbers. Now, let's consider that we have number 8 and 12. And we are looking for the greatest common factor of these two numbers. So, using prime factorization, ang una natin gagawin, hanapin lang ang mga prime factors ng 8, then prime factors of 10. So, what are the prime factors of 8? Okay, the prime factors of 8 is 2, then 4. Okay, however, 4 is not a prime number, so we break down into two parts. Uh, the prime factors of 4 is 2 multiplied by 2. So these numbers now is our prime factors of 8. So the prime factors of 8 is 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2. Now let's proceed to 12. What are the prime factors of 12? And the prime factors of 12 is 2 multiplied by 6. However, 6 is not a prime number, so we break down into 2 parts. We have 2 multiplied by 3. So these numbers now is the prime factors of 12. Okay? The prime factors of 12 is 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3. Okay, next, hanapin natin ang common sa mga factors or prime factors ng 8 and 12. We have this number and this one. So, 2 multiplied by 2, we have 4. So, the greatest common factors of 8 and 12 is 4. Okay, ganun lang lang po yung prime factorization. So, let's proceed now to continuous division. Let's consider that we have 8 and 12 as our example. Ay, sa continuous division, hanapin lang natin kung anong number ang divisible sa dalawang number na to except 1. So, sabihin natin 2. Ay, 8 divided by 2, we have 4. 12 divided by 2, we have 6. So, we have two, two numbers na. 4 and 6. Ang 4 and 6 ba, meron kang divisible na number? Okay, we have 2 again. That's it. So, 4 divided by 2, we have 2. Then, 6 divided by 2, we have 3. Ayan, 2 and 3, 1 na lang ang number na divisible dyan. So, ito na po yung magiging greatest common factor natin. So, paano nga ba kukunin ang greatest common factor using continuous division? Ay, pag multiply lang natin yung number dito. So, we have 2 times 2, we have... Four. So, ito na yung ating greatest common factor ng 8 and 12. So, ganun lang ang process kapag continuous division. Now, let's have another example in finding the greatest common factor using prime factorization and continuous division. 
Okay, let's say our example is 45, 70, then 85. Okay, what are the prime factors of 45? We have 3 times 15. However, 15 is not a prime number, so we break down into two parts. We have 3 multiplied by 5. So these are the prime factors of 45. Next, let's proceed to 70. Prime factors of 70, we have 2 multiplied by 35. However, 35 is not a prime number, then we break down into two parts. So we have 3, no, we have 5 multiplied by 7. So these numbers are the prime factors of 70. Next, we have 85. The prime factors of 85 is 5 multiplied by 17. 5 and 17 is a prime numbers now. Therefore, these are the prime factors of 85. Uh, let's list. The prime factors of 45, we have 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5. Next, 70. The prime factors of 70 is 2 times 5 times 7. Next, 85. The prime factors of 85 is 5 and 17. And now, hanapin natin kung ano yung common sa kanila. Uh, ito lang common, 5. Yeah. So therefore, the greatest common factors of 45, 70, and 85 is equal to 5. Okay, ganun lang po yung prime factorization. Now, how about kapag continuous division? Let's consider this number. 45, 70, then 85. Ano bang numbers ang divisible sa tatlong ito? So we have 5. 45 divided by 5, we have 15. 70 divided by 5, we have 14. Next, 85 divided by 5, we have 70. Uh, meron pa bang number na divisible sa tatlong ta? 1 na lang, so therefore, ang magiging greatest common factor natin ay equal to 5. Ayan lang po yung process ng continuous division. Ayan. Next, paano naman kapag merong variable? Ayan to lang yan. Let's say x square y cube. Then, x raised to 5 y square. Okay, kapag hinahanap ang greatest common factors ng variable, ang kukunin lang natin ay yung may pinakamababang exponent. So, we have x here, then x here. So, kapayin natin x. Uh, let's compare. Ano ang exponent nito? 2. Dito naman, 5. So, anong may mababang exponent? We have 2. So, therefore, x square ang kukunin natin. Next. We have y here, y here. So, compare. We have 3. Then, 2 here. So, ayan. Since, as maliit yung exponent na 2 kesa sa cube, yun ulit ang kukunin natin. So, ang ating greatest common factor sa variable na to is x square, y square. Yan nila. So, ang technique kapag variable, yung mayroon lang pong lowest exponent. Okay, let's have another. Let's say, a cube, b square, c. And the other one is, a square, b raised to 4. So, tingnan natin, may variable a, mayroon variable a. So, copy natin. Then, compare kung saan ang may mas pinakamababang exponent. We have 3 here, we have 2, so ang kukunin natin ay 2. Next, b square, 
V raised to 4. So, ang ibig sabihin, V square ang kukunin natin. Next, we have variable C here. Okay, here. Ayan, wala. So, ibig sabihin, hindi po natin isali yung C as greatest common factor. So, ito na ang magiging greatest common factors ng given problem na ito. Ay, nasundan pa? Uh, I hope na sundan nyo ang lesson na ito. And syempre, meron kayong natutunan sa paghanap ng greatest common factor using prime factorization and continuous division. So, once again, that is prime factorization and continuous division in finding the greatest common factor.